If you like this channel, subscribe, press bell icon, click the like button and share to your friends. Hi guys, welcome back to Chemistry Tips. Don't forget to join Telegram channel. Link available in the description box and comment box. Then one more thing. To know the mistakes in this video, please check the comment box. Today we discuss the topic antioxidants and preservatives. Okay, we can go to the topic antioxidants. It is a substance added to fats and fat contain substance to retard oxidation. That is the definition of antioxidant. Antioxidant is a substance that added to fats and fat containing substance. What's the purpose to retard the oxidation? Second point, it prevents food containing fat or oil from going rancid due to oxidation, developing an unpleasant odor or flavor. That is, it prevent oxidative rancidity that is the main function of antioxidants third point it prevent browning of cut fruit vegetables and fruit juices that is the another function of antioxidant is prevent enzymic browning it increase shelf life and appearance when we use this antioxidants we can increase the storage life and also it is more attractive next point it prevent spoilage in animal fat caused by oxidation it prevent the spoilage in animal fat caused by oxidation Certain vitamins and various amino acids can easily be destroyed by exposure to air and antioxidants serve to protect them. Certain vitamins and various amino acids can easily be destroyed by exposure to air and antioxidants serve to protect them. These are two types. First one, water soluble or synergistic type. Example, ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Second example, citric acid, then phosphoric acid. Water soluble types, that is ascorbic acid, citric acid and phosphoric acid. Okay, second type, fat soluble type. Examples, first one, BHT. BHT means butylated hydroxy toluene. Another one, BHA, butylated hydroxy anisole. Then catechin, quercetin, 2,6-dimethoxyphenol, ethoxyquin, propyl gallate. These are examples for fat-soluble type. BHT. BHA, catechin, quercetin, 2,6-dimethoxyphenol, ethoxyquin and propyl gallate. Here, catechin is a natural phenol and also antioxidant. Then in the case of ethoxyquin, it is a quinoline based antioxidant used as a food preservative in certain countries. Next one, main points related to antioxidants. First one, naturally occurring substances that act as antioxidants are tocopherols. But they are rarely used as additives because they are more expensive than synthetic antioxidants. That is two main points are, first one, Naturally occurring substances, 
that type antioxidants are tocopherols naturally occurring substances which act as antioxidants which is known as tocopherols but they are rarely used why this additive is more expensive than the synthetic antioxidant that is the reason next point it should be effective in low concentration it is very important thing this antioxidants are effective only in low concentration mixed antioxidants sometimes act synergistically synergistically mean it produce a combined effect that is greater than the sum of the separate effect that is the correct meaning of synergistic effect okay so the point is mixed antioxidants sometimes act synergistically okay next one it have wide ranging life protective properties antioxidants have wide ranging life protective properties then next point vitamin c and e are the two antioxidants present in living creatures which are the two antioxidants present in living creatures vitamin c and e another point tertiary butyl hydroquinone that is tbhq thio dipropionic acid and dilauryl thio dipropionate are also used as food antioxidants sometimes present in options so what is tbhq tertiary butyl hydroquinone another one thio dipropionic acid and dilauryl thio dipropionate next point ascorbic acid is used to prevent discoloration or browning of cut fruits and vegetables what is ascorbic acid it is vitamin c it is very important one because it prevent discoloration or browning of cut fruits and vegetables citric acid and phosphoric acid increase the effectiveness of ascorbic acid in preventing enzymic browning so which are the acids prevent browning of fruits and vegetables ascorbic acid citric acid and phosphoric acid okay next one preservatives it is very important one what is preservatives any substance which is capable of inhibiting retarding or arresting the growth of microorganism so what is the main function of preservatives inhibit retard or arresting the growth of microorganism next point natural preservatives example sugar salt acid etc these are natural preservatives next one chemical preservatives examples sulfur dioxide sorbic acid nitrate and nitrite acetic acid propionic acid benzoic acid or sodium benzoate parabens epoxides antibiotics diethyl pyrocarbonate etc then what is paraben these are alkyl esters of para hydroxy benzoic acid alkyl ester of para hydroxy benzoic acid that is paraben the methyl ethyl propyl and heptyl esters are generally used then epoxide epoxides are cyclic ethers we know that it is cyclic ethers that destroy all form of microorganism including spores and virus the epoxide used as preservatives are ethylene oxide and propylene oxide okay next one preservatives prevent the growth of microorganism which cause food spoilage and lead to food poisoning preservative prevent the growth of microorganism then it cause food spoilage and it will lead to the 
food poisoning then it is used to extend the shelf life of products storage life or shelf life increases by using this preservatives another important point salting and sugaring are the two oldest methods of preserving food for example meats are often treated with nitrate and nitrate during the curing process meats are treated with the nitrate and nitrate that's the important thing another point household preservatives example salt sugar vinegar and pepper vinegar means acetic acid that is 4% acetic acid it is used to preserve pickles like that okay then saltpeter or sodium nitrate used for meat curing saltpeter or sodium nitrate used for meat curing then sulfur dioxide or sulfurous acid anti browning agent it is an anti browning agent it, this uh, preservative is very important one okay i will give more notes for you then benzoic acid or sodium benzoate added in juices jellies etc then what is sulfur dioxide it is used in foods for long as a general preservative it is a general preservative used to extend the storage life of fresh grapes it increase the storage life of fresh grapes it prevent the growth of undesirable microorganism during wine making in the manufacture of fruit juices it is another important use of sulfur dioxide that is it prevent the growth of undesirable microorganism during wine making next point the most useful agent for the prevention of browning reaction in dried fruit we know that sulfur dioxide prevent browning reaction in dried fruits next one defects by using sulfur dioxide first one it leaves unmistakable taste in mouth it gives unmistakable taste in mouth second one it causes the breakdown of vitamin b1 so food containing so2 may not be good sources of this vitamin the words vitamin b1 it means thiamine sulfur dioxide causes the breakdown of thiamine so food containing sulfur dioxide may not be good sources of thiamine okay the next one benzoic acid okay what are the points benzoic acid is used as antimicrobial agent it is used as antimicrobial agent next one it is generally used because its sodium salt is more soluble in water than the free acid sodium salt of benzoic acid means sodium benzoate it is more soluble in water than free acid another point acid is most active against yeast and bacteria and least active against molds acid is most active against yeast and bacteria bacteria and least active against molds it is used in acid foods such as fruit juices carbonated beverages pickles and sour krout benzoic acid used in foods like fruit juice carbonated beverages pickles and sour krout okay guys thanks for watching